Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thank you for joining me today. And we have a special episode of the Ex-Mormon series that we've been doing. And it's all about fundamental fundamentals. Fundy undies, the Mormon underwear, the Mormon temple robes, everything. What is it about this? Why is it so weird? Is it weird? Can we understand a little bit more to, uh, to figure it out if it is weird? Is it? I don't know. It's, I'm straight up wearing them right now. Not gonna lie. They're comfortable. They smell like Fruit of the Loom. They're not. There's so much. You guys don't want to miss this episode. Jordan McKay, bring me right through it. There's a surprise in there. It gets crazy, but let's dance. Yeah, baby. Who wins? Who gets him? Amy Uphill. Hope you're not a Mormon. Oh, she wins a, She wins all three. A dart. Oh, no. She, she wins a sticker, a bracelet, and a keychain. Wow. Amy, amazing. Now it's time for YouTubers. Yeah, baby. Right. Ashley Huff. Oh, you went all three, too. Let's go. There's Sammy. Sammy likes the underwear. They don't offer very much protection against cat claws. I'll give you that. But today's episode is crazy. It's a little long, but it's really, really good. You want to say hi, Sammy? You say hi? You want to say hi? Oh, he likes you guys. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to out, yo! Frig! Sam! You jerk. That one hurt a lot. Ow. Okay, get off. Go, get, get, get. Ah, uh, you see that? Where is it? He ripped. There's blood. There's gotta be blood. Is there blood? Oh, Sam. Anyway, I can't believe I'm wearing warm one underwear right now. <laughs> but let's get to the interview. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Dad Chunks Podcast. My name is Josh. We're here with your favorite uh, ex Mormons um, living the dream out in Utah, the Utah Ooh. dream. I gotta, I gotta say something. I Googled the tickets to the Utah versus BYU game, mm -hmm. and someone said they were like $900. Is that true? It gets kind of crazy. Who the heck pays People $900 pays for a football game? <laughs> <laughs> it does get oh kind of I, I figured that would be like the... I've never like been to a football game, so... I wouldn't be able to tell you. Unacceptable. So we're going to have to do like, there's no way I'm paying for that. So we're going to have to do like a, <laughs> uh, no way. Uh, what do you call those when they have like the, all the hillbillies hang out in the parking lot? What's that called? Oh, a tailgate. Yeah, tailgate party. Tailgate. So that's what we'll do. Get a little. Okay. <laughs> all right. So today's episode has been like on everybody's mind. This is the question that so many people ask. It's the thing that I snark the most on about Mormons. So today we're talking about garments. So Jordan McKay, tell me about the Mormon garments. And there's more than there's more than a couple right yeah okay so in in particular there is the temple garment which is known as the garment of the holy priesthood and then additionally there is the temporal ceremonial clothing which is not to be worn anywhere outside of the mormon temple mm -hmm. um and it has to do it's part of the endowment ceremony that they they hold in the temple <clears throat> and did you get these these clothing do, do they give you these when you get your recommend or do you have to buy these yourself you have to buy, buy them. Yourself. Of course you do. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, in different countries, uh, for instance, in when I was in, a missionary in Honduras, the equivalent of the same garment I would be paying uh, about a dollar fifty four, whereas so here, yeah, um, it would be like four fifty a piece or something like that. Oh, that's not 
So bad. Four dollars. It's heavily subsidized in places like that, but I mean, you only get one, oh, okay. and that's one piece of two. Okay, so, so um, and it can get kind of pricey. Who supplies? Do you get to go to Sears? Is it like at nope. Walmart? No. You, you have to go, and I worked at the uh, for the church distribution services. Yeah. So you have to get them from a designated distribution store so that they have the church makes them the distribution okay. outlet so. stores at every temple across the world so yeah. uh the faithful members can get their undies there <laughs> um and um also here in utah they have stores called desert books which is owned by the church that they i feel like they missed an opportunity of not calling that. the store fundamental fundamentals just like I feel like they missed an opportunity <laughs> to call it Fundy Undies. Um, Seriously. And so, what's the other? The other one is the just the standard. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Ceremonial clothes. No, no, no. Yeah. What's the other one that people wear? The, oh. the everyday clothes. Oh, that's that's the temple garment. That's what I was describing to you. Oh, okay. That's the Mormon underwear. That's so all okay. all of that stuff has to go through the proper channels at the uh, the distribution centers. Um, you have to get your little uh, temple recommend, and they scan your barcode to make sure that you're okay to have them to buy them. Really? You can't just um, go and buy them. So yeah, we are not allowed to buy them. So anymore. can you just get them on Amazon? Is there people third party sellers that sell them? No. There might be, um, not that I'm aware but of, they but. are not to be. It says on the tags that they're supposed to be o- worn only by authorized LDS temple patrons. Okay, so, so the everyday undies. Okay, now those are, you get those anywhere? Nope, nope that's the same, same thing. thing. Are you serious? I thought yeah. you could just get I'm through the all loom. the clothing. Oh my gosh. Nope. Okay, nope. so all this time I've been thinking to myself, oh, I'll just go <clears> pick some up at Walmart. I thought, I thought it was just a straight up. Fruit of the Loom undershirt, which is, you know, I wear undershirts all the time. I think nice, especially with a dress shirt. I thought all this time Mm -hmm. that they were just, you could just get them anywhere, but you have to get them. So they got a, this is, that's a monopoly. That's illegal. A monopoly. That's illegal. Yeah, it is a monopoly and it's not illegal because of the First Amendment. Oh, the religious freedoms and rights. (laughs) Yes. And they also, they, so they have um, their own production for that, that they own. It's called Beehive Clothing. Um, so they produce all the garments and they have little marks that each garment has to have sewn into them. And, uh, to their credit, they do have a pretty wide variety of cuts and fabric <laughs> styles men. and yeah. everything for men. Um, it's I mean, a, men, you don't really <laughs> change very much. From, all you really need is a pair of bo- like, Is it boxers or are they like tidy whitey? They have a different, like Google. a couple different ones. Um, I'm they're going all... At- they're all <laughs> to the knee length. Mm-hmm. Um, there are styles that are two piece. There are styles that are one piece, which wasn't a thing until the seventies. Mm-hmm. Um, having two pieces, um, so you used to wear like yeah. a onesie. So there's a there's oh a bunch of gosh. different styles like that. They can be <laughs> skin tight. They can be kind of boxer style, which is what what I used to wear mm-hmm. more often. <laughs> um, there's one bunch of different materials. Right it's just that it's it's. It, what does this remind me of? Like a broken screen door. It's really weird. Like how right. they like. So there's oh, one. I'm, are you I'm looking Googling at the mesh it. ones? Yeah, this is Mitt Romney to sell Mormon underwear. Are there ones that are more flattering to women or no? No. No. So no, you, none of them are flattering. Ever. So your boobs, f- sorry, fit into the pockets. Yeah. And then you put a bra on yep. over it. It can be over or under. Most, Most older women. women wear the garment and then put their bra over it. I yeah. feel like why don't you just put a bra in it so that there's like an underwire or whatever you need. Like I feel like it's just extra boob sweat happening. And you're in Utah. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Oh, too yes. bad. Too bad the strengthening membership committee is probably not watching our videos anymore because we're no longer members. But this is if crazy. You're listening, Mormon Church. Oh yeah, we haven't even scratched out. the surface. Yeah. So can you order like a surface. size or two smaller so you get a little bit tighter fit if you really want, or like do they size you or do you that's just ask for size? Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Like there's got to be some <laughs> cheaters. In every case, there's oh yeah. my god, there's a picture of a lady wearing them and I'm like ah so hot. No wonder you guys don't Yikes. eat fun in the bedroom. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, get this: some people do not take them off. Some older people do not take them off for sexy types. How, where is there like a dick hole in there or something? How do you get it out? <laughs> How do you get it out? The whole, you pull them down, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. They Halfway. tell you, they instruct you that you're not supposed to take them off, really, even for sexy times. So you can take them off, and then you immediately have to put them back on afterwards. So yeah. you should be wearing these at all times. Correct. Yep. Under pajamas, they say to wear everything. them 
any any time that you can wear them, you should be wearing them. And I think we've kind of go over, oh my gosh. gone over in past videos, yeah. like sweating excessively, like working out is Some kind of a great wear. wear, them to wear out. Um, swimming, showering, swimming, and and things like. Can that. Can you wear a pair of Lululemon like tights? Because I see a lot of Mormon family. Because I only know women from Mormon family loggers, and they a lot of them wear yeah. tights. Can you mm -hmm. can you yeah. see these under? Are they seamless? They are not seamless. You can definitely see them. Yeah, oh, and I but think it, that's on purpose. It leaves less of a line. Yes. Um, it's like because the line is down to your knee, right? Rather than on your yeah. butt, or right? Whatever. So yeah. if someone has a little bit of a higher line. You're like, that's a dirty Mormon. Yeah. Oh, bad Mormon. Oh, I yeah. feel like okay. Do you have? Mo do they send you? And you said they're about four bucks a pair. Do you get to order like a twenty pairs of these? Um, you can order as many as you want. be encouraged to. That way, you're not doing laundry oh, like every other day. Just yeah. Of all the things about Mormon culture, LDS culture, this. I know that we talk about some crazy, you know, like uh, theology, which is also crazy. But of all the things that make me go. Really? It's this shit right here. Like, it doesn't... And a lot of people come at me for that. You'll say, they'll say, look, this is something we hold sacred. But why and who? Who told yeah. you that this which... And why? Give me the give me the theology. Um, it's kind of baseless. Um, at least not scriptural. Um, and, and a lot of Mormons will argue that, um, oh, there's lots of religions out there that have mm -hmm. um, sacred clothing or whatever. But... Every single other religion that has religious clothing articles, it's an outward. It is. It's a. Like, it's usually a head covering or a face covering. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Or it, some sort of thing like that. And it is tends. A lot of yeah. religions tend to use it as a uh, use their dress. It's a dress code on written and written as a modesty thing. Which yeah. again, I'm not against yeah. modesty. To be honest with you, I don't think that there's. A, I don't think. I think if you want to just show your goods, show your goods. But if you, I don't also think we should shame people for being modest. I don't think that's. I think modesty sure. yeah. could be great. I think that however you want to show your body, do it. And I, I mean, yeah, a lot of them right. will say that. And I've heard that argument a million times. Like, why do you come out? To the underwear i feel like if mormons just drop the damn underwear you're you just get more people just are they that if it's not <laughs> well, biblical and, and that doesn't make sense most people not. won't even know like right off the bat like that wouldn't i wouldn't even as a missionary i would never even talk about that i wouldn't even touch baptism of the dead because that's a weird thing yes yes so which is going to be a yeah, yeah. it's Okay, so here's it's strange. So of all the family, okay, because this is how we tie it back in. So I've seen family vloggers go on vacation. There's this one family vlogger. The guy wears a def, a, an effing speedo. So obviously he's not wearing his garments. But you're allowed to do that no. for swimming. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, swimmers and stuff like that. They wouldn't discourage that. I don't know if there's anything. That I mean, would they say, discourage don't women wear from wearing two pieces. So most yeah. of the Warren family vloggers are kind of. Yeah. On I the think line maybe, there. maybe dudes probably shouldn't be, you know, touting a banana head. Yeah, like this guy's budgie smuggling all over the world. And it's like, he they look like, <laughs> in the video that I saw, he's like wearing, they look like jeans. And I'm like, I get it, dude. You're viral. But just chill. <laughs> so when you when we talk about these underwear, the thing, the, the the one thing I can, like, let's, let's see if we have a silver lining here. At least it's a low cut. Like when I was in a band, it was low cut Vs. And that was like yeah. all the fashion. They're low cut enough that you don't have to like always see it up here, right? It doesn't go so high up here. Yeah. Well, and there there are different. There's a um, like a crew cut there is collar one. that you can get. Um, the newest ones they're called stretch cotton. They have a V cut mm -hmm. neck, um, but you always get the the little bit yes. right here at that the, little the seam. shoulders that you can this almost seam. always tell. Yeah, where it intersects with where you would be wearing a t-shirt. On so, purpose. That's so, by design. I, I've, yes, it is because it's, it's, the, be. it's the it's the it's the religion of tattletales. So, the mark, um, yeah, the Mormon tattletales. The, mark of the Mormon. The the narks. So okay, <laughs> when you're when people and okay now, I'd say the majority of people who are Mormons are brought up in the culture. Okay, there are some con mm -hmm. converts. As a person who I think. I consider myself semi-intelligent, not dumb as a rock. I can think for myself. If I were to step into a religion like this, and then they said, oh yeah, now you're all good. Oh, about this, you have to wear this. How do people not, like, what? And how do you get teenagers to wear this shit? Um, teenagers don't wear they it. They don't have to wear it oh. until they either go on a mission, so typically at 18. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Or they're getting married. So yeah. this, this is more for people who are, over the age of 18 who've gone on a mission, who are married, who have their temple, rec temple recommend. They're basically the bought-ins 
They're the Bodens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that you've taken a major step. So they, they yeah. have to be an adult. And I think that is probably also by design because if you had children going in and doing these rituals, it would be all over the news. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, it would. So, yeah, because it's crazy. You know what should be all over the news? Um, Having your sins documented. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Telling me. Agreed. Telling me, right. I'm probably. So Jordan, Anyhow, um, Jordan, you sorry, real quick, Jordan, you wore these a lot, it's, but mm -hmm. as I talk to you guys, I get to know you a little bit more. I feel like Jordan, you were a little bit more the edgier Mormon, right? You were probably the yes. one that always asked a lot of questions. I'm sure McKay did too, but I feel like you were the one that was like, you asked the questions. You're the one who felt the most uncomfortable with certain things. The stuff really hit you hard, but you still wore these, right? Yes. Weirdo. Just kidding. I know. <laughs> <You got> weirdo. <laughs> Come on. It's hard to like. I don't even know. It's hard to reconcile now that I did. Like, I have them sitting over here on the bed, and it's even hard for me now to look at them and be like... It's got to be triggering, Why? right? Like, yeah, it's just... it's For me, it's... it's as a, as a Let's say... Let's take religion out of this, okay? Let's take all the regular people that are watching this right now who are laughing, and let's take the, jo let's take the joy out of the laughter for a second. But for, to, to be truthful, it's just weird and it doesn't need to be the problem is is that there's so many things that don't need to be that way that they've held on to for what reason and i i actually gonna make the argument that it literally comes down to patriarchy every single time with the mormon culture because what's the point of that? that it's for for obviously for it to look to be modest in your appearance so that you can't wear anything that would be immodest because it would show off the garments Yes. Okay. Yep. So you're not when anything that you're wearing, especially with women, you're not supposed to like. You shouldn't be able to see them. Like if they could, they'll be like, I can see your garment. Oh, I see. Okay. So no cleavage yeah. allowed, and so you I, shouldn't even be purchasing clothing that would be close to showing off your garment. Are no. there Mormon lines of clothes? I know that the eight passengers, Ruby, Frankie, and her sisters, they all have one for kids. It's like a, a Mormon, basically frocks, pretty much. Like it's weird. It's like. Hunger Games, but it's, I know there are some that do it. Are there, it, it's, I imagine just buying modest clothing, but are there Mormon clothing lines? There are a lot of, I, I mean, when I was like a member, and stuff there like are that. a lot of boutiques right. based in Idaho and Rex, like in Idaho and Rexburg specifically, um, Idaho Falls, and then here in Utah. Mm -hmm. Like this is a frequent problem here is not being able to find modest clothing and right. so there's tons of that around yep. so it's a good way to capitalize make some cash because it, you're living Absolutely. in hot as balls area and you gotta wear mm -hmm. you know i wear short but you're and mormons are supposed to wear shorts you can wear you can. shorts but they they have to be long they have to go to the knee so mm -hmm. like most women won't wear like regular shorts a lot of times it'll be like capris yeah mm -hmm. um, i didn't even bother really long no short shorts like absolutely that's no. sad that's just yeah you your know, garments would be hanging out when you know it's summer here when you see all the bum cracks hanging out and pe bum people's bum cheeks here in canada you can go you can go topless in, in ontario you can women can walk yeah it is legal <laughs> legal Shit, we're moving you don't trust me <laughs> the ones who go topless are just like ah uh, really could it not be the other one but it's the ones who shouldn't you know what i'm saying um, it's always the ones who shouldn't all right uh, you were gonna go with something there uh mckay oh i figured that you should open your your package yes I have a package. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's check out the package. So, if I get struck by lightning, by God, I'm telling. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Ready? Tattletail. Tattletail. Oh, I just. We just were told that you were getting a package. Oh, you were told. Read it. Okay, Josh. We figured this would be a little treat for you, seeing as access to the stuff is strictly prohibited for Gentiles, which I am. I'm a Gentile, like yourself. However, fear not. Your resident TK smoothies have their ways for your thoughts, are not your thoughts, and our ways are lower than your ways. From your loving apostates, Jordan McKay. I actually know the guy who picked, packed this box for us. So you you guys went like undercover and got these for me? More kind or less. Of, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I, I can- Allegedly. So here we go. Men's cotton poly jersey, and who makes it? Is it Where's it made? Oh, it's, it is made in the um, States. They have a couple. Um, yeah, sometimes they're made in the States. Um, they have a plant in Mexico and one in, I want to say Paraguay. So for the Western Hemisphere. The men's authorized yep. pattern. Yeah. This item men's for use only pattern. by endowed members of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. Now, I absolutely want to put these on. But will I be like, make like I don't want to piss people off, but like I want to put these on really badly. Hold on. Do it. I'm doing it. If... People if, are going to be pissed yeah. off no matter what. If you they're do. going okay. to be watching this, they're going to be pissed. So <laughs> What is this? Okay, is this tablecloth? 
Okay, um, that is the girdle, is what it's called. This looks like it's a... That is the hat. That's the hat. I was going to say a tortilla. The chef's hat. <laughs> yeah, a, it looks like a tortilla. They got you all the ones that Jordan and I would have. They have newer patterns. Okay. Um, but we figured that you had to get the whole experience. Yeah. The green of one. The weird things. That's the green one. That's the apron. This is the uh, that presents the uh, the leaf underwear from Adam and Eve. Yes. Yeah, the, the fig leaves. This one is the the long robes. the robe. That's the robe. Oh, uh huh. They package them nice. I'm not gonna lie. This unboxing is nice. Okay, and then this <laughs> is the. Uh, What's this one? Item is used to endow members of church. Uh, beehive. Dis uh, temple clothing. I think it's the sash. Is it the sash? Yeah. That should be. Like the the girdle, I think, is what it's called. I don't know what the other one is. They all look the same. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm not even kidding. Not oh, there's one that's an envelope and one that's a girdle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. They got so thank you to whoever sent these to me because these... Like it's, it's honestly to me, I I get what these are to a lot of people they are holy, but today's video is all about dissecting why, right? Why are they? I, I just doesn't, it, it, it bugs me because this is an unnecessary thing that is not biblical in any sense, any means you made that shit up, right? You just made it up for whatever the case may be. And I, I it's good to get the experience of it because not yeah. everybody, I mean, truly can get their hands on these things, right? So whoever sent these to me, I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Jordan McKay, you have your ways, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'll put those on after, but I'm gonna do that at the end of the video. You guys aren't even gonna see it until you watch this video. Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna like I'm gonna walk down the street. <laughs> like I'm gonna be like I'll have my son hold the camera and just walk. I'll be working out in them. Um, I want to oh, see. Oh my god. Like I'll wear them. I'll show. I'll okay. model them off first. Like you can wear under okay. underwear under them, right? You're supposed to. Yeah, right? you you're supposed you're to. not. You're not technically supposed to. Oh, no. you're not. No, so the, these, it's the it's your underwear. These need to touch your genitals at all times. Yes. But what about a bra? That that's where Jordan was kind of uh, edgy. Oh. Yeah, I wore it over, but older There's women. There's not technically they wear it any under. instruction on that one, but you're not unbelievable. Really but they can't under. tell, so that's yeah. fine. Okay, this is amazing. Yeah. So thank you for this gift. It's probably <laughs> incredible. I feel like we should put that Chachi logo on it. <laughs> Chachi, uh, right? I've got the print press here. Okay, so that's awesome. I'll do that after. Um, but how the often will you guys put ceremonial clothing on? You will only put the ceremonial clothing on when you go and do a endowment session. So it's a religious ceremony mm -hmm. in the temple. Yeah. Yep. And it's only when you go and do that. Yeah, so you don't so, like go in wearing it. You go in the temple, you change into it. Yeah, as the ceremony is going on. Yes. Um, so all of that stuff goes... There's one that's labeled um, envelope. Okay. It, it goes in this little cloth envelope. So all, so that, all, all that stuff you would... So all your stuff you immediately packed. You would buy uh, prior this? to doing this and... <laughs> What's this for? Your... Uh, that's your tail. Yeah, that's the tassel. That They removed that recently. <laughs> um, literally nobody understands oh why. God. Are you serious So the, right the now? bow actually goes over the ear. Which ear? Um, yeah, your little depending, bow right there. It goes over both at one point in the ceremony. It goes over. So that uh, has to switch around. Other. This is the most yeah, so you have to unfittable thing ever. First of all, yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> hey, so like you busy lady, you want to get coffee or something? You know, I just yeah. saw you from across the temple. You want to get I a said, hot chocolate? I said, hey, I mean, nice robes. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to? Piss <laughs> oh my god, there's gonna be videos made of this. Anyhow, so that's not comfortable. Yeah. First of all, doesn't fit. No, no. And if you've got a lot of hair. Which yeah, you I probably don't. shouldn't. Oh, that's right. So. You're not allowed to have that. Oh, is there another yeah. bow? Is there another bow here? No, no. What the hell? Nope, just the one. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, I see. I was my hands were backwards on. Just them. a bow and the, and then. Um, I guess I should. Should I go grab mine? Do you want to? Yeah. yeah. Let's wear these mine together. Are different than yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that. Well, there's only one thing that's different. <laughs> it's the the veil. The headwear is the only thing that's different between the men and the women. I mean, you could probably. <laughs> Make these a little bit more fly, like you just be like, yeah. can you can you make it crooked <laughs> a little up? bit? So that ladies? Not really. No, they'll fix it. People will be like, hey, so here. all the Mormon hats on, all the crooked. Mormon famous guys that are in bands, right? And there's a bunch of them. They have to wear the the fundamental fundamentals while they're playing music live. Yeah. Um. Notably, Dan Reynolds of Imagine Dragons. Yep. Which, if that's your jam. Yep. Good for you. It's not. Not for me. Um. <laughs> people, you. 
they would like snap pictures of him and you could like see his garment kind of sticking out or like he would be jumping up and you could his shirt would come up and you'd be able to see him how could you be a part um, of a here's a, let's let's do a little segue while she gets her hat how can you get it being a set, secular band and be a, a mean line mormon I, I honestly don't know. Um, Brandon Flowers of the Killers also does it. Um, Brandon Flowers, I know, is like actually legit still Mormon. Wow. Um, Dan Reynolds is kind of a gray area because of his uh, very strong support of the LGBTQ community. Right. Um, I don't know if he's very well into it anymore. So as soon as um, you show support for LGBTQ, you're like, basically, they'll will they call you if they oh, find yeah, out? Oh, yeah. Um, Tyler Glenn of Neon Trees um, is openly gay, and he got excommunicated for that. Um, so I'm kind of just waiting on Dan Reynolds. Like, he's going to get that. Holy cow, yours are way better than mine. Yep. Yep, yep. so Jordan gets a little veil. I mean, at Most least... Notably, it, uh, you have to tie oh, you do. it around you do a little bow. Around your neck. Around your neck. So yeah. this is straight dumb. Okay, I, like, yeah. I look yeah. like an idiot, and I, I feel like you're walking yeah. into a... a, a like we live in 2021 and we're in a place now where you're going to walk in and there's all these adults who know the world. They watch TV. They, they are in the world for whatever. And they don't have a problem with this. They're like, yep, cool. I don't get it. I, yeah, it's weird. Well, and the first time you go through the temple when they should, like, you don't know about all this stuff till you go through for the first time. Like nobody tells Mm -hmm. you. And so there's an entire class in preparation for this stuff. They, they do don't touch not this stuff. Touch they don't touch it. Any of this stuff. They're not allowed to. And people have been like, oh, well, if you didn't know this, then uh, I guess you weren't listening. No, I have scoured the manuals, the teacher and the student manuals for preparing to enter the Holy Temple, yeah. which is the class. It does not reference the new name. It does not reference any particulars about any of the clothing. Uh, and, like, you'll know, like, because you will have to be in the church for at least a year if you are a convert like if i were to get baptized you can't go I'd have for to be a year. in the mm. church for a year before i this go shit's to crazy. the temple yeah because they yeah, have to so, be like oh we're just gonna make sure you're all in because as soon as we show you this ball sack stuff you're gonna be like what i yeah, just what the hell i want to talk to somebody yeah. who went did all that and then got to this point and said i'm out i bet you it happens there are a few there's people that we've talked yeah. to on tiktok that are like oh yeah, yeah. the temple is what can, did it for me yeah, we can kind of share a little bit more. Like, do you want us to kind of go in in depth and and walk you through what would happen on this day when you go to get your temple garments and everything like that? Yeah, because I know that new name Noah, whatever his name is, has a video out there that I've watched. Yeah, I've skimmed. It's very long. It's so yeah. long, and it's creepy as f. Like, it's I, of yeah. all the things about the Mormons. Again, the, the garments creep me out the most. Not, and I say creep for lack of a better term. It's just the weirdest thing. It's just like, it's just so yeah. unnecessary. Well, but that temple ceremony, when I start for watching that, I'm like, I shouldn't be watching this. That was, that's how I felt. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And the funny part is those are the modern ceremonies. There are things they have taken out that, are okay. even worse. that have never been caught on camera that are much worse. Like? Much worse. Like, give me a few examples. Okay, well, we'll go... If we go along with it, I will tell okay. you the things that they've changed along the way. Okay. So it makes a little more sense. So it makes a little more... It's in context. Uh, okay. Because without the context, it doesn't really make sense. So all you haters out there who are about to get all mad about this, they've done it. They're a lot... Like, is, they, they have lived... Yeah. This is a lived experience. They've done it. This isn't a video. We're not going dis- to disseminate the video. We're going to hear it from those who have experienced yeah. it. Yeah, and if ever, anybody in the comments wants to say these people are wrong, this is absolutely false, prove us wrong. Yep. I want you to find something. We've done it many a time. Bring yeah. receipts. Anything I say. Yeah. Hit us up with the receipts. Yep. I will gladly address those and point you in the right direction of kind of stuff. So, um, you're going to the temple for the first time. You're going to receive your endowment. So, um, I did this when I was 19 years old, two weeks before I departed onto my mission in Honduras. And you did it when? I think I was 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 19 so that, or 20. And she was just getting it to to have it to be like a spiritual protection They were like, it's the best thing ever. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll do it. It's the best thing. So. <laughs> Misery loves company. That's no. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> no. In, in preparation for this stuff, most places will have you buy the temple ceremonial clothing. You can also rent it for money. So you see it before you go in. Like you yeah. see this clothing. Out of context. Out of context, you have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah. 
Um, so you you buy that, you bring it in. Usually, um, uh, you have like someone who's going with you. They're called your escort. Um, so they have been through the temple. Mm-hmm. They Before. will sit by mm-hmm. your side the entire time. Um, it's usually your parents. They your whisper in your ear. This is gonna get weird, but just just un- just try <laughs> just, to understand it. I know don't worry the about first it. time don't, I did it, I yeah. peed my pants. But just chill. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Anyhow. Yep. Um, so you have to buy all your clothing in advance. Um, so you arrive at the temple. You usually like talk to the the temple president or whatever, and he'll be like talking about the garment and thing like that. So. The first thing that you have to do in preparation for the endowment is called the initiatory. Um, so in this ritual, I'm going to say ritual because mm-hmm. that's, that's what it is. is. Yep. Um, they take you into this room, and the room is partitioned off into four quadrants by curtains. Mm-hmm. Now, the um, in this, they will um, wash and anoint you in preparation to receive your endowment. So... This is where one of the things was different, and even between Jordan and I was different. Originally, you would be literally put into a tub and washed with water. By naked. random people that you don't know. Not naked. Yeah. Back, No, naked. In the, the first iterations of the endowment, you were naked in the temple. You'd be washed by the temple uh, workers, and then they would anoint your body with oil. So that has to do with... Your head, your eyes, mm-hmm. your ears, your mouth, your navel, chest, your loins, your navel, your loins. They rub shit on your loins. Yeah, so it has happened that people would have their genitals touched, but they weren't supposed to do that. Yeah, there's a few stories um, out there on Exmo, on the Exmo Women's Lab on Reddit. Ooh, yeah. yeah, there's some icky stuff there. When did this so, practice cease? That changed, I believe, in the nineteen nine, like nineteen ninety, if I'm not mistaken. Are you telling me, nineteen ninety or nineteen oh nine? Nineteen ninety. So MC um, Hammer had so a track out point, on this radio, and people getting their yeah. their stuff rubbed with Mormon yeah. oil. Yeah. So okay. um, I'm not sure when they added. It is called the shield. Now you wear a poncho. So it was a poncho with slits cut in the side so they didn't have to see you naked and they didn't wash you down. They would just rub water on your forehead. So they had the the poncho up until at some point. um, And then in 2005, you came clothed in the garment. So you were wearing it already. So when I went to the temple, I had my garments on and then the poncho over it. And they didn't like anoint all my body parts with oil they just put oil on my head and then they went through there, the same because then lessons. it became it became that's like this it's a signifier it's, it's like it's like yeah they, it's this is symbolic good. symbolic yeah. which is then so because likely something track. happened or yeah. things i mean is it only men who can annoy with oil um no this is men and women okay so which women did women other things so women did women men did men Women do women, yep. men do men. But yeah. we know that there's like so, a million um, closeted gay Mormons, so... Yeah. Wow. There's like a bunch of blessings they pronounce on you or whatever. They anoint you to become a king and priest unto the Most High God. Um, and then at the end of the ceremony, they... Um, your garments are now me, activated. They say your garments are now activated. <laughs> In the, the, the earliest um, iterations of the temple ceremony, they would cut the symbols into your garments... While you were there. While you were there. And the last one is on the knee, and they would cut your knee with that to kind of like seal it with your blood. So there's a whole bunch of Mormons um, out there with a bunch of with knee scars. Yeah. Pro- um, I mean, they probably old, old discontinued Mormons, that within yeah. the f- first 50 years of the church. but uh, So none of those people would be alive. But um, so not the robe. It, it's the underwear that has these uh, these symbols on it. Um, if you want to open that up real quick, oh, I can uh, Lipton. Look at this. explain what the symbols okay, are. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to turn you guys on here. Ugh. Okay, so I am not eight feet tall, but where's the <laughs> where's the head go? Okay, so it, it goes over a shoulder, it's a, it goes like over a toga. Your shoulder. Yeah, like a toga. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. So there should be kind of an inside and out. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. And then you tie it around your waist. Yeah. Yeah. So the the two, there should be four little ties and then each of those. Yeah. 
There you go. And then each of those little things should have a hook that it corresponds with. Or a tie. I don't know yeah. Be a tie. It's kind of hard. Okay. Yeah. Is the tie need to be in the back then? Actually, uh, flip, do a, a 180 on that. The little tassels that are right on your neck, those should be on your shoulder. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 They, they, like, dangle, dangle off your shoulder. Oh, oh they, they should dangle, dangle off your shoulder. Off your shoulder. Sorry. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that just got worse. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to... How the... So you got this... And then, yeah, you just kind of connect it on the other side. Oh, I see. Like, is it supposed to be open to the side here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Good little. Okay, so we got the... Okay, so there. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. yep. Looks, Looks good. good. What's up? There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you're naked under this? You're no, wearing... so you wear the, the temple garments and then, like, your white shirt and white pants. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you're wearing a suit under it. So okay. this part is the, yeah, this part is the, the temple, the underwear part that you receive. Oh, um, and the the shield, the poncho, is not something that you would bring. They have it at the temple. What is this? So, so that's, that's the, the, the sash, sash or the, the, the girdle. Karate so kid. tie that around your waist. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, so that goes around the waist. Um, like in the front? Tie it. Yes, tie in, it in the front. The front. And actually, uh, tie it on the side, actually, on the open side of the, on, on your, your left. left. Yeah. It's, it's the, the opposite, opposite of wherever okay. you're. Okay, yeah. got it. Is. Yeah. Damn, this is hot. So, oh, yeah. uh, super comfortable, too. All polyester, oh, yeah. baby. And then you have the green apron. Okay, hold on. Jesus is laughing at this too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus is laughing for sure. Heck, dude. This, like, why? It's not even a good design. So I put this here? Yeah, but yep. that goes in the front. Okay, hold on. Do you need help to put these on or you just do it yourself? You do it yourself. And You're supposed to do it yourself, yeah. You have to go kind of efficiently. <laughs> yeah, and even better is um, so that's the way that you put it on the first time. Then you have to take it all off. Then you have it. to take it all off and p switch like the robe onto the other shoulder and, and turn your head around, re-put on your apron, tie the girdle again. <laughs> They're just yeah. making this shit up as it's like Calvin hat. ball. They make this shit up as it go. It's weird. Okay. Yeah. So then what's next? Yeah. What else? This one. So then the, the hat with the bow over your right ear. That last piece is the envelope that holds it all. Yes. Right ear tassel and then the tassel connects to the top of the <laughs> robe right there but oh what's this God, what's this so piece here what's this one that's the envelope that all is oh, all oh it's a little it's so a, it's a handy it handy carrying pouch yes, yes. oh yes. that's nice oh pouch. what that's not even a zipper in it no it just is like this awkward fold thing. so <laughs> you know first impressions i'm like I get uniforms make you feel cool and stuff, right? But I look like an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. Now imagine a room full of, yeah, uh, like, 50 other people dressed exactly at least like you, that. At least you all look like idiots. I mean, you're like, you're idiots <laughs> yeah. together. And so, again, yeah. as I put yeah. this on, as I wear it, I know we're it's funny. It is funny, and it, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous because I mean I yeah. get this See, even this I'm like, okay It's like a, it's a toga. It's cool if you're ripped it look cool But this it's this thing. Why does it have to be this pick a better one? What is the, yeah, so what is the, like, Significance of this It's supposed to be technically like modeled and there's really nowhere that says this kind of like after the the hat that they the Levites would wear in the tab or or the, the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. So it's flat kind of to symbolize that a crown would go on top of it because you'll be crowned okay. a king and a priest. So that's why it's flat. God. Okay. So yeah. I just got to point this out. Let me just focus that's this real quick. I got to point this out. If you put a crown on the shit, it's falling off. There's nothing holding a crown. Yeah. No. Like if I put a hat There's on no here, crown is going on. like cool, man. I mean, like if I can do this because I'm a Blue yeah. Jays fan, I'm like, I'm down. I'm like, hey, what's up, Joseph? <laughs> what's up? This is my guy, so Joe. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. So. Okay. All right. Next step. Oh, so this is actually part of the the endowment. The, um, um, I was up to the the garments. So now you have your garments on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't put this on until you get into the next okay. room. room. All right. So um, so after you get your garment, you watch you, a movie. You go into the endowment room, mm-hmm. like room. It's like a and, theater. Yeah, it's basically like a theater in most places. Um, they do have the live versions, which I think you ended up seeing maybe, um, like they have actors. I don't know if they have actors yeah. and they're, they're temple and it takes workers. like an extra hour. People, Ew. Um, and they act out. Um, so there's this whole instruction sequence where they like show the creation and there's a lot of like really specific wording mm-hmm. where Elohim is sending Jehovah and Michael down to go and form the earth and, it like represents all seven days of the creation, and at the end, Michael becomes Adam. Then you have Adam and can, Eve. And do, Adam does Eve the Mormon Church garden. put this video for anybody to watch? No, you can only watch it in the temple. Only in the temple, yeah, because of the th- parts of the temple that also instruct mm-hmm. the very secret, sacred parts right. of the handshake. It's not so. secret. It's sacred. It's sacred. Okay, and then this. In unison. It's not secret, it's sacred. Okay, so. It's sacred. Um, okay, so you watch this movie, and obviously it's about, there's, it's it's not, about, is it the Book of yeah. Mormon, or is it about the way the origins were based on the Book of Mormon? Because if it's the so origins nothing, of the Bible. Yeah, there's none of this is in the Book of Mormon at all. Oh. Um, and it would be very, you'd be very hard pressed to really find this in the Pearl of Great Price, which talks about the Genesis portion of the Bible and definitely not in the Bible. So it paints this scene in the Garden of Eden where Satan is there and he tempts Eve to partake of the fruit. Um, once does. they partake of the fruit, they realize, oh man, like we're nude, we're man. nude. And whoops, the devil's like, yo, uh, God's coming. You better put some fig leaves on. So you stand mm-hmm. up. Everybody puts their uh, their fig leaf aprons on. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so now it's time, you, everybody. everybody that's the like first this. part. They're all like, oh, they got yeah. stuck at the clasp is stuck. Yeah, <sighs> it's a. Let me tell you, it's a race. It's a race. Everybody like, in there is competing. To okay, be okay the hold fastest. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm going to time me. Get me a. T- you got a watch. So are you are you sitting when this is happening? So you're sitting, you stand up to put on okay. the apron. So you, he, you time me. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, ready? Okay, give me a second. I just got to uh, situate this. Okay, All right, so. Uh, let me let me simulate what you would hear. I would You would hear, brothers and sisters, please put on your aprons. Go. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Elastic. Hold on. Boom! Suckers. Boom. Seven seconds, 62. Seven seconds. Yeah, I'm like good. the best. So that's pretty good. Okay, so good. you would not be the last one in the room to sit down. So nice. you want to There's be the always first a, seat, some right? cute elderly person who's just yeah. like arthritis and having a hell of a time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you put on your aprons, right? Uh, Granny, hurry up. Try to get this done. Okay, quickly though, quickly. This shit just falls off. Is everybody yes. doing this all the time? They're all like this. Yes. Everybody's doing this. Yes. You're getting a peek into the temple that like nobody it's amazing. Gets. Like yeah. I'm intrigued. Worst, so. I would put a sweatband so in here. Fun. I would put a sweatband oh, yeah. in here. Gross, right? Like Adidas. <laughs> um, okay, so then you sit back down. So you sit back down. The movie plays again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have uh, because they broke the commandment of not to partake of the fruit. Um, they have Adam or Adam covenant with God that he would obey the commandments, and then um, in a little bit older iteration when Jordan and I went through the first time. Then Eve covenants with Adam to hearken unto Adam as he hearkens unto God. So not even Eve gets to covenant with God, which is just which which we knew that's how bad. it goes now, right? She yeah, yeah. Uh, everything. You Allegedly, know what? honestly, to changed. be honest, up to the point of where they talk about the fig leaves and everything else, that's actually biblical. That's actually the story of Adam yeah. and Eve. Oh yeah, uh, they, they are, yeah. and then God says, "Why are you hiding? Well, yeah. we well, how do you know you're naked?" And I get that, right? So up until that yeah. point, yeah. that's when everything changes. Yeah. Yes. And okay. all of I I will say this um, in the modern iterations of this film, absolutely stunning. 
videography. Oh, it's and well done. Score. It's like they paid amazing some amazing production. Like is Tom like, Cruise one of the actors? Oh no, he's a Scientologist. Oh no, no. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Um, they do have some some actors. There's a couple different versions of the modern one. Um, so and, depending on what, like depending yeah. on where you go, and you might see each a of them line. have different. A- they don't have the same cast in any of one of them. That's because um, those people will likely leave the church and they have to put a new one in. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're right. Pretty soon it's just gonna and, be a CGI. Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, so then they get cast out of the garden, mm-hmm. and um, there's all this other stuff that happens. Like Satan tries to tempt them, and he sends like false teachings, and is like, "Oh yeah, this I'm just teaching the philosophies of man mingled with scripture." And Mormons love not to biblical. Say that. Not Mormons biblical. love to sub- say that. Not yeah. biblical. Which is a lot of Mormon doctrine is just the philosophies of man mingled with scripture. But so it's kind of ironic. That's neither here nor there. Um, so after that, then uh, they teach you the first token of the Aaronic priesthood. After all that, so which is ironic, Jesus or yeah, <laughs> Elohim, God sends. Uh, oh, John. Snap, crackle, pop. John Peter. Okay, John, yeah. Peter John Peter and, and um, Paul. Paul. Yeah. Right? So he sends them in their pre-earth form to teach Adam and Eve. A handshake. Uh, these things. Oh yeah. yeah so um, so what's the f- is this when the first handshake happens? Yes. yes, so it's called Good. the first token of the Aaronic Priesthood, um, and it looks like this. You put your hands clasped like that, mm-hmm. thumb over the knuckle. So that's mm-hmm. the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, they say the name that corresponds to it is the name that you're given. Um, so for me, it would be McKay, or yeah, McKay, my first name. I won't say that. But. <laughs> is, this, is this where you guys get your secret Mormon name? Yes. Uh, so yeah, you've already received that um, in the initiatory. So they give you the new name when you get your underwear. When you get your your underwear activated, do they put that in your underwear? They write it in your underwear? No. no. Can you? They just it's tell not you anywhere. Are you supposed to I tell mean, anybody about this name? Should. Are you? Sp- we should have talked about nope. this. No. But they're not supposed to tell anybody this name. Nope. But no. I heard that everybody that goes on that day is that name. Yes. Yep. So if you saw Which anybody, I you knew their know. name. Yeah. So so they're just like. I give you a new name, which you're not supposed to uh, reveal to anyone except for a certain part in the temple later today. That new name is Isaiah. And in this moment, I'm like, holy shit. They are like receiving revelation from God right now. They just gave oh. me this new name. And I got to remember it because if I forget it, how are they going to like tell me? So I got to stop you there. This is really interesting. Okay. As much as I look ridiculous. But at this moment, you guys are Kool-Aid. You're into the Kool-Aid. You are feeling oh, yeah. this. What is, the, okay, so, and this is where we talk about, this is what people get really upset about this temple thing. They're like, this is so sacred. I feel so close to God. It's this emotional experience that people are having. This happens a lot at, and I, I was a pastor. I know how to manipulate people's emotions to get you to come to an altar call. To, I know what to say. I know what kind of music to play. I know what to do to manipulate you. Is this all happening because they make it so sacred, it's so unspeakable, that it just feels like it, the weight of it is just hitting you, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they do a lot of things within the temple. Um, I forgot to mention, when you sit down, um, they ask everybody, oh, did you do you remember the new name? And uh, if you don't, they will give it to you because it's the same name every single day. So they just pull you out in the hall and they give it to you. And I'm like, holy shit, like... They're just like giving this person this name. I feel like I'd be so like, yeah. So that the right things. there would be, I'd be the guy I'd be like, oh shit, sorry, Bishop, me. I like, I swear to God, yeah. I thought it was Henry, well, but I, I'm not person. sure if yeah. that's what it was. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. but now that you know, not everybody knows that it's the same day every day. So if okay, no, so that would not make sense. know the okay. day that you go. Okay, yeah. so so they do that, yep. and then they also um, the one time that you're offered a withdrawal is right at the beginning before you know anything. And they're like, now's your chance because if you don't want to make you... these covenants with God or whatever, yeah. you can leave. Yeah. If you got this shit you know, on already, you're like, whatever, what what could possibly happen? Well, you got the thing in your bag this. and you're just yeah. like, well, okay. You're like, Wait, what a, yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. Are you wearing so... this at that point? No. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got it in the bag. Okay, you so you're not wearing it. this yeah. yet. So you're like, okay. Yeah, this is at and the very beginning. That's because they don't want you to yeah. see this shit. And they're like, okay, well, no. if you're in, you're in. So you can't leave any other time. You're... Well, they tell you, you can, you, but tell you there you is can, but. there is no insinuation at that after that point that you can because once you know, then you know, and you are required to obey. So, <laughs> and if you like, yeah. you know more now, so you're going to get punished because you know more. 
So the more you know, yeah. the more well that makes sense. The more you become, the more because that's damned the that's the outer darkness. You. You're damned because you did know and you yeah. turned your back. So they're you know right. at least they're giving you yeah. fair warning. You're like, hey guys, if you like put this stupid hat on and come in here, you're screwed if you walk out. Right, basically yes. like like you're gonna go bake some cookies after this, but you're out. At least but that's the thing cookies. is they don't they don't tell you any of that. So you have zero unless you have a family member who tells you, which ninety percent of them will not. You have mm-hmm. zero expectation. Like my grandma before I went through told me it was a little culty and to just be prepared. So at least I knew that. But then I also had somebody who said, Whatever you do, don't fall off the goat. And I was <laughs> oh like, my What gosh. the fuck? Yeah. Here's the So you have no expectations. <laughs> if I went through this, okay, and I was new to someone else, I'm not telling them shit either. I'm be like when they get up, like, tell me what happened. Tell me. I'd be like, right? That's what I'd be like, right? Did you wear the yeah. shit with the string? Right? <laughs> that's what I'd be like. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're not it's told. A that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big deal, too, because you're told you're not given any of the information. I get it. I get why they say that. But I feel like there's more to it, I think. But, okay. So you get in. And what, are, you, are, you, are you allowed to tell me your temple name, Jordan? Oh, yeah. Mine's Phoebe. I liked oh, mine. That's, that's a good one. I thought they're going to be all weird, yeah. like biblical names. Well, like Eunice Ew, is one of them. There's a Ew, Eunice. No. There's a, yeah, there's some bad. There's some Phoebe's bad good. I I'd think like, can I get somebody like, said that Phoebe is biblical, but I don't know. Like It is in the Bible like one time, but I don't know where. So every name that you get is definitely either mentioned in the Bible or is a biblical name to some, some degree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it could be a bunch of Mormons out there called Josh. Um, also. Yes. Yeah. Joshua is one of them. Um, the men get a lot of Book of Mormon names, um, mm-hmm. but the women don't because there are I think, like no three <laughs> named women in the Book Gee, of Mormon. I wonder why. One of them overlaps <laughs> with biblical name, and one of them is Isabel, and she's, she's a, a harlot. harlot. She's a so. hooker. She's a straight hooker. That we're one. not going to give her that one. You imagine you got gonna, that one day. You're like, why? Eunice and Hulda. Why? They'll give all the girls that go through with big boobs. They get that name. <laughs> she's Isabel. Okay, so okay, okay where so are you we at now? Like, Damn, you get you watch the movie, shit. you're like, oh my gosh, this was like an hour long, yeah. right? Something like that. Yeah. Um, so and then it's just from then on out, it's just instruction. So after you you do the first sign and token, and there's so there's the handshake, and then there's also a sign that accompanies mm-hmm. it. Okay. So the sign for that one, you raise your hand to the your right hand to the square with your fingers together, thumb extended, and that's the first sign of the or the sign of the. First right. token of the ironic priesthood. Also, so, funny enough, this is actually a left turn on a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But you do with your left arm, wouldn't you? So yeah, there's that. So it's a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So after they teach you that, then everybody has to do it. So they literally, go around they go and around. Do it. And every you. single person does with the temple worker. Yeah. You go you, mm-hmm. like this, and then he moves on to the next person. <laughs> 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 Well, That's why this takes every so long. Every single person in the room has to. How do many it. people are in this room? Um, sometimes up to like fifty. Ew. What about COVID? And you're separate. What about COVID? Um, they were totally closed they down. They closed down temples. Yeah. So many people missed out so on the higher down. heaven. What about the people who died of COVID who didn't get yeah. to do this? Uh, they we'll baptize them. Yeah, we'll baptize them. Dead. You you're good. They're covered. Yeah. They're good. They're, <laughs> yeah, at you least do it they're when, good. when they're dead. You know what? They yeah. probably get baptized. Like at least they don't have to wear this shit. Well, imagine you get like to like the the lower level. You have to wear this all the time. Oh God, that's probably what it is. <laughs> TK me. smoothies. All right. TK yeah. smoothies. And you gotta wear the stupid robes. Um, so after that, you would get dressed like you are right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you have the um, apron over the left shoulder. You have the hat with the bow over the right ear, mm-hmm. and it's tied for whatever reason. They got rid of the tie. Um, and then you have the, or sorry. The robe is over the left shoulder. Mm-hmm. Then you have the apron on, and then the girdle with the bow tied on the right. But side. you don't put the leaves on until later. No, the leaves are already on. The leaves are already on. Yeah, after when you leave the garden, right, or when they right. leave the garden. Yeah. Uh, is everybody so changing in the same on. room? Yes. Yeah, because you're so already because you're, 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 you're wearing a suit. You're wearing a suit. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're wearing regular clothes. So you put that on, and if the temple is big, you move on to the next room. If not, they just change the lighting. Um, for example, when I was endowed, um, we moved into another room. I went to the Ochre Mountain Temple in Utah. Mm-hmm. Um, in Guatemala City, um, it's really small because they had to, um, I mean, it was the only temple at the time, so they had to conserve space to keep there being more rooms. They just changed the lighting. 
Um, so you move on to the next room. You can look up the endowment room and see what it yeah. looks like. Okay. So they, um, <clears throat> then they teach you the second token of the Aaronic Priesthood, yeah. which is very similar. Um, it's just with the thumb over the um, the in between space of the two knuckles. Um, it's just so a I tiny iteration. So it's just that one little thing. Tiny. What difference. if you mess up by accident? Um, that's why they have the temple worker to do it. That way you do it right. So he will know and he'll make sure you do it right. Do it this right, is yeah. another stupid thing or she that would. doesn't make any sense <laughs> whatsoever. Any sense. But is it not? A lot of people will say that this is bored from Masonic temples, right? Oh, that is exactly. Joseph two Smith ripped it off for masonry. Absolutely. Are exactly. The same. He didn't so even change those at all. So the, okay. the Masonic version of those ones are called the the first one is called the grip of entered apprentice. The second one is called the grip of fellow craft. It so is he literally, literally didn't the change exact it. same. It's he didn't even change thing. it a little bit. And so why don't people aren't people like okay, it's clearly uh, illegitimate and nobody says a word. Oh, because they don't nobody know. Really nobody really, looks really looks knows. That. Okay, nobody knows. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, and especially because of I don't know about in Canada, but here in the United States, there's a lot of like conspiracies surrounded the Masons and like oh Illuminati, Illuminati, and shit like that. Yep. Which is just anti-Masonic sen- sentiment, honestly. But even like it's even the apron that you're wearing is a ripoff from yeah from Freemasonry. The, the they have apron. a lambskin apron that they wear. So what you're well. telling me is don't be a Mason either. Basically, yeah. yeah. Don't don't get into weird so. shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, but mis- but well, mis- 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 Masons are not they're not religious. Religious. Right, Masons are just like as far as inst- I know, no. it's institutional. Like it's like a it's like a club. It's like a secret club. It's basically what it is. Brotherhood, yeah, yeah, yeah brotherhood. Yeah. It's a brotherhood. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's the second token of the Melchiz or the Aaronic Priesthood. The mm-hmm. name for that one is the new name. So for me, it was Isaiah, and for me, it was Phoebe. Yeah. So that's so, why you got to remember your new yeah. name. So you have to remember that because it corresponds to those handshakes. How many guys he's handshaking um, their hands and they got the name like written on it? <laughs> My name is Arnold, and then they shake. He's like written yeah. right here. <laughs> Yeah. So, and and each of these corresponds to a covenant that you make. So that's why they say, "Oh, we make covenants in the temple." So the first one is um, obeying the commandments, um, because Adam and Eve got caught breaking the commandment and partaking of the fruit. Uh, the second one, I can't remember the correspondence to that one, but there's, um, yeah, I can't remember the second one. Another handshake, you mean? Um, yeah, the, it's the covenant well, it's that the corresponds covenant that goes to with it. it. I don't remember. Um, the third one is the the law of chastity, mm-hmm. so that you're not supposed to, uh, you covenant not to break the law Let of chastity. Let me guess what this one looks like, okay? You cover your balls with your hand. <laughs> I wish. Okay, so let me, don't, let me not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll... So then after that, you would, um, they have you change your robe over to the other side so you have to you have to take everything off take the robe off you move it over to the other shoulder you take the apron off so that you can move the robe take the the girdle off you flip the hat around mm-hmm. and then you put the apron back on you retie the girdle with the bow on the opposite side and again then, um yeah dumb why dumb, what? dumb. yeah signifies so this what is representing moving from the ironic priesthood to the Melchizedek uh, priesthood, which is the higher priesthood. Could you not just give me, like, you know, a badge or a magnet? I can just flip a thing, <laughs> something. Right? So then Spare they teach you the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood, mm-hmm. which is Jordan would put her hand like this, fingers together, thumb extended, and the guy, the temple worker, would come and put his hands like this, symbolizing piercing the hand with a nail. Okay, okay, like okay. Jesus. So it's... The first token of the Melchizedek priesthood or sign of the nail. What's the sign for that one? The sign for that one. Oh, the sign for the last one I forgot is you uh, put your left hand to the square and then you put your right hand out. So that's that one. The sign for the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood is you put. Uh, is that like. You put the. the oh. Hands? So the left hand is extended at a right hand like this and you make like a little cup with it mm-hmm. and then the right hand is fingers together thumb out face down for guts yeah guts um 
Okay. Yeah. Now we've got to uh, we've come to the portion where we have to talk about the penalties that were removed in June 1990. <laughs> so each of these um, corresponded with a penalty, mm-hmm. which um, essentially you pantomimed uh, the penalties oh, yeah. that would befall you for. Um, revealing the secrets of the temple. So the first one had to do with slitting your throat. Uh, there was also one um, that had to do with... Uh, and this one is... This remains because the idea was that you... Cut your guts slit open. Slit your guts open and you would... Your guts they would, would fall into in your, your hand. hand. I mean, you don't want to like just walk... Yeah, you got to hold them. Yeah. Yeah, you got to hold them. <laughs> it means... So, and and there was another one that I can't, are white. can't really remember. Um, but... That was the idea up until April 1990 or June 1990 um, that if you were to reveal this stuff, you would rather Slit your die own first. Uh, here's so. and it's ironic that, you know, don't tell on us for this, but tell on everybody else for other things. Yeah. Yep. Ironic. So you're not allowed to reveal these things. Oh, and then the good, the fun one. Next oh, one. I will also <laughs> reveal, talk about the oath of vengeance that used to be taken in the temple. Which is essentially, let me just read. The Oath of Avengers? Is that what you said? Oath of Avengers? The Oath of Vention. Oh. Vengeance. Okay. Um, so the officiant of the ritual enjoined the participants as follows. You and each of you do covenant and promise that you will pray and never cease to pray to Almighty God to avenge the blood of the prophets upon this nation. And that you will teach the same thing to your children and to your children's children unto the third and fourth generation. Avenge the blood of the prophet, aka yeah. Joseph, Joseph Smith, Smith and, Hiram, and that's not uh, he's not a god. How that's a god. He's he's yeah. he is that is okay. So, so that was no. practiced until the early 1930s. That was, Brigham Young, wasn't it? that was instituted by Brigham Young. Yeah, yeah. as a way to uh, this nation has slain our prophet, mm-hmm. martyred him, and this nation needs to be hey. avenged. Yeah. For it, or he needs to be avenged but for it. But we don't it. worship so Joseph Smith. Yeah, yeah, not at all. So that's they stopped in the early 1930s, uh, particularly because there was a senator who was involved in an investigation, mm-hmm. and uh, when they investigated him, that was revealed to basically everybody. It was made public record that they were doing this in the temple, taking an oath to avenge Joseph Smith against the United States government. And, this and they were in, the, in government, the government, a Mormon. And that's a massive yeah. conflict of interest. So that was a big issue. That okay. was a big issue. Yeah. So yeah. in the 1930s, they're like, mm, so now they don't do that. I guess we're not doing that anymore. Cause it looks bad. <laughs> and it's weird. Our bad. Oops. So that's weird. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Next, true order of prayer. Let's go. Okay. So after they teach you <laughs> the, the first, or I guess we have to do the fourth one too, okay. um, which is the the second uh, token of the Melchizedek priesthood, the patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail. Yeah, that's this which one. We, I've seen this one before, which is the craziest one. Yep, that one's like yeah. which is the craziest. It's a little bit one. weird. Yeah, so you you touch on the wrists uh, representing the sure sign uh, or this the sure place, the nail in the sure place where they nailed Jesus through the wrists so that he wouldn't fall off the cross. Um, but didn't and you do a one, handshake? Don't didn't you do a handshake that like did the hand the nail in the hand? The first? regular nail, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, so the name for this one was the sun. The name for the 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 second token of the Melchizedek priesthood, they don't give to you there. You have to do it at the veil, and they give it to you at the veil, which is weird. So um, this is the weirdest uh, sign. This is when I for lost the token. It. This is when it was. Yeah, over and this for me. one has okay. been changed to um, English. In the last 50 in years. Okay. Um, this one, you raise your hands over your head, and as you bring your arms down like this, you say, Oh God, hear the words of my mouth. Can you do it three, three times. times? Nope, not doing it. Yeah. Yep. It's weird. So everybody is in there, in and they're all chanting. Saying, oh God, hear the words of my so mouth. So just imagine that for a moment. Oh God, hear the words of my mouth. Oh God! Hear the words. It's the mouth. worst thing ever. That's, it is so weird. That's the creepiest part. Yeah. So, okay, Jordan, you were yeah. honestly doing this. You did it. You did it. You had mm-hmm. to do it. But were yep. you thinking at that point, or are you still kind of in, enamored with it all? Oh no! The going through the temple was like the beginning of my shelf breaking. Okay. Okay. I knew there was something not yeah. right about this. And I was on my way to a mission, so I, I honestly think I overlooked a lot of it because of that. Okay. But I mean, a lot I of couldn't it, go on my mission. But again, you got to come back to the you got to come back to the sacredness of the soul. Like you're being 
part of this is that you are allowed into something that no one else gets to see. It's so secret and private, oh, yeah. and you hold that so deep, and like you're going to cut your eyes out and your throat and your guts out. People are taking yeah. this seriously because they're like, okay, I want to be a part of this. And so, is there music playing? Is there like, is it cold? What that, is it like? All of that is like it's silent, so. uh, except for the instructions. Yeah, except There's for the no instructions they're reading off. No thanks. Um, That's and, just... and for me at least, um, like my whole family was there, and yeah. like usually I would have done it in Denver, but the temple was closed in Denver for maintenance, mm -hmm. and uh, so we came out here to. Where to Utah. the bulk of his family and, lives here. Yeah, most of my extended family lives here. So I had a bunch of people that I knew in there doing this with me. So I'm like. Well, I guess it's not that weird if everybody's here doing it with me. How often do you have to do this? I thought you only have to do it once, right? So you do it once for yourself, you but then you yourself. have to do it for dead people. So you continue to do it. So, so not you only do you have to baptize those bastards, you have to get in there and do this crazy thing with this hat. Yes. yes. Thanks a lot, dead people. Yep. Thanks yep. a lot, dead people. Yep. So, um, oh, crap, man. So there's that. Okay, so talk about the true order so those, of prayer then. So those are the four. Uh, this one's going to floor you. Okay. This I mean, will really? You. Like, what else is there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will make you mad because it like it spits in the face of like any other Christian value. Honestly. Okay. Um, so they teach you all these things, and then they teach you what they call the true order of prayer. Mm -hmm. So they have people enter into a circle, and they're like, "Okay, if you know people outside of the circle, and you have any bad feelings, don't participate because only the best of feelings should be existing mm -hmm. in existing circle. in this circle." So everybody gets in the circle. They make you all do all of the signs. So they're like, okay, do the sign of the first token of the Aaronic Priesthood. Boom. And then the second mm -hmm. token of the Aaronic Priesthood. Boom. And then the third, uh, the third, or the first token of the Melchizedek Priesthood. And then everybody does the little, woo. Again, you do it again. In a circle around this altar. In a yeah. circle around an altar. Yeah. So this is just the people who are in the circle. Is shit on fire? Is if like shit's on fire, I'm going to be mad. Is shit on fire? Oh my God. I wish. <laughs> no. no. Okay. So after that, then everybody takes, so um, I, as a man, I'd be on the wrong side. So just imagine this flipped around. Mm -hmm. um, I Everybody takes the, it goes man, woman, man, woman. There has mm -hmm. to be an equal so, amount. So it's best if men participate with their wives, but then mm -hmm. everybody does the patriarchal grip and then they put their elbow on the shoulder on to the square on the shoulder of the next person. So you're in a circle right like, like that. Mm -hmm. And then they pray over names that they have put into uh, that people put into the box. Like they submit a name. So it's the names of the like sick and afflicted people. Okay. So this is what they call the true order of prayer, which is implying that any other method of prayer is essentially not as good as this. So you have to do all the signs, you have to gather in a circle, you have to chant, you have to be around an altar. Yeah. No, and that's yeah. not, again, I've obviously not even close to biblical whatsoever. So how does Jesus fit into all this if they always claim that they that that's Jesus that I know is the Jesus they know? Because that is not at all, yeah. at all biblical. Zero biblical. There's nothing biblical no. about that. Yeah, and the, the teachings about Jesus are really kind of confined to the sign of the nail and the sure sign of the nail. Yeah, Other he's not that, like a hallmark yeah, of the endowment ceremony at all. Like he is portrayed as like taking part of the creation and he's basically being just sent by Elohim, Jehovah, go do this, Jehovah, go do this. Um, but really, like the teaching of the atonement and everything is just confined to that. Holy cow. That's the, the signs. So, so not only did you do the th creepy things, then you got in a circle and did the creepy things with other people yeah. in a, it's they probably, a, is this a, a low lit room too? Is it weird? No, it's pretty bright okay. lit. Um, they, they only adjust did the, the lighting for the, for the movie part. But okay. Well, they adjust the lighting based on what level of the kingdom. Yeah. They're so in too. you're, yeah, they, they kind of set the lighting. Like when you're in the garden, it's pretty dim. Yeah. And then you're in the celestial world and the lights get a little bit brighter. And then you move to the next room. It's the and it gets brighter. terrestrial world. And then and you're like, Oh my gosh, I didn't know how dark it was. Cause it's so bright now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These LEDs and are really good. You move on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So after that, so then the hallmark of it all, yeah, the testing phase, the test. Is it um, math? So they, Pull up this curtain <laughs> and they reveal the veil, the which veil. represents the veil that you'll pass through. Pass through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, so the on the veil, you'll have to. I'll have to send you a picture so you can put it up there. Um, there are these 
symbols that correspond with the symbols in your garment. On the underwear. On the underwear. Right. So, uh, where did it go? Okay. It's on this one right here. Um, so they point out all of the symbols. Um, so on the left breast is the mark of the square. It's placed in the garment over the left, or, or sorry, the right breast. It's placed in the garment over the right breast, suggesting to the mind exactness and honor in keeping covenants entered oh, I into see it. this day. Oh, yeah. Then the mark of the compass is placed in the garment over the left breast, yeah. suggesting to the mind an undeviating course leading to eternal life, exactly. a constant reminder that mm -hmm. uh, desires, appetites, and passions are to be kept within the bounds the Lord has set, and that all truth may be circ uh, circumscribed into one great whole. You can't really see then, them, but they're like, it's just a, it's like a, they're there. Yeah, it's a little stitch. Yeah. yeah. Um, then there's the mark of the navel, Mm -hmm. uh, this is placed in the garment over the navel, suggesting the mind, the need of constant nourishment to body and spirit. And then in the, the bottom part, uh, the knee mark is placed in the right leg of the garment so as to be over the kneecap, suggesting that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Christ. And so that, okay, so that, that's kind the of, right that's knee. kind of, I, <clears throat> right knee? That's kind of eye opening yeah. to me. So the part, so it's not just that these garments are just garments for the sake of garments. They have signs and symbols inside of them yeah. that represent something that it's almost like wearing a yarmulke. But at the same yeah. time, it's 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 not a modesty thing. It's literally just a weird wear these yeah. symbols so that you're you're reminded that they're on your body at all times. <clears throat> also, yeah, so the they, symbols are stolen from the Freemasons, so yeah, they are not original. Masonic. Oh, they they do have a dickel. Just if anybody is wondering. Oh, they yeah, do? yeah, for the guys. So yeah. look, it's a like look at <laughs> only this. only for the guys. Ready? Where is it? Oh, hold on. Wee boop. Hey, here we go. Wait. Hey. Beep -beep. <laughs> <laughs> so so these correspond to those covenants that we were talking about like the obeying the commandments and the um law of the chastity, law of chastity law of the law of consecration mm -hmm. where you're supposed to consecrate everything that you are to the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints all your talents all your all efforts of your talents everything and all your goes efforts. to the church so um and that's a a deeper more in-depth topic for another day but okay um so they have these symbols on the veil, and each of them have holes in them. So when um, you come up to the veil, the temple worker, he takes a mallet, which is also stolen from a mallet. the Freemasons. Yep. They tap okay. on the veil. They tap. There's a, a little bar behind the veil. They tap on the bar to basically announce that you're there, and um, <laughs> God... A temple worker on the other side sticks his hand through the navel mark. No. And no. Yeah, he's yes. like, okay, so he's like, what is wanted? And the temple he does. worker's he like, sticks his hand through a it. son of Adam uh, wanting to converse with the Lord and receive further light and knowledge. So he sticks his hand through the veil and then he asks you, he will hold your hand in the first token of the, yeah. the Aaronic priesthood. And he says, what, what is, is this? this? And you have to tell him. It's the first token of the oh. Aaronic priesthood. And he said, does it uh, has it a name and it you has. say it has phoebe and then you give him the yeah so the first one is your given name so yeah mckay or jordan yeah so and then he goes on to the next one what is this sorry 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 this yeah. is god god doesn't know yes. your name it's god <laughs> no this is what the if? testing that to know he knows your name but you have to know that the name of the sign is your name. Here's here's something I just thought of. Imagine the bishop ordered some firehouse subs from Uber Eats, okay? Uber Eats guy gets lost. All of a sudden, he's going through. He's like, here it is. Things in the bar. Your Uber Eats comes through. I'm just feeling, I feel like there's a missed opportunity <laughs> here. Are there snacks? Yeah. I feel like, can I have a snack? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm hungry. Seriously. How long are you in here for? Boy. How long are you in here for? Uh, Usually about an hour and a half, two hours. No thing. About no hours. way. Yeah. So you have to do it's all of that church, through the veil, yeah. and then the very last yeah. one. The very last one. So he gets to the last one. You're like, I, I don't know the name of it, and you're supposed to receive it there. So he sticks his arm through um, one of the the two breast holes, the 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 <laughs> compass or the square. I can't think of which one it is. So he sticks his arm and places it on your shoulder. You stick your arm through, or I guess. Yeah, and you stick your arm shoulder. through and place it on his shoulder. So he's got you like this. Yeah. And he tells you this long ass so thing. So your face you're is like right to next to the veil. And you're like. Dude, I need to look this up and read it to Okay. You, and you're like, this veil is like, not holding your bad breath, bro. Do you need a mento or something? 
Like, I want that job because you don't know who it is. It could be anybody. Okay. Well, and they're usually, like, super old, and yeah. I always got the crusty hand guys that, like, really yeah. needed some lotion. <laughs> You're like, bro, I brought some Vaseline. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do when I get there. Be like, here you go. <laughs> you need this. <laughs> you need this. What are you looking at? So this is all, like, recanted stuff um, from people who used to work in the temple. Um... Jordan's gonna pull it up. So this is the the name. Have you of guys? The, sorry. Have you guys seen the new no na- new whatever new name Noah video of it? Have you mm-hmm. watched it? Yeah. Yeah. Jordan watched it before she went to the temple in preparation okay. because but she was so nervous. It has changed since then. Yes. Okay. Very very I mean, slightly. Minorly. Okay. Very okay. slightly. And he did a. Uh, they give you this to you while you're literally you got him by the hand. He's got his hand on your shoulder. And you've got his hand on your on his shoulder through a freaking curtain. <laughs> <laughs> and then he you whispers see him? Can you see him? You. Can you see him? No, you can't. It's a curtain. Could be Ted Bundy. And he <laughs> could be. He whispers this to you, and then you're supposed to say it back. Like, this Damn. is the name. Yeah. Okay. Can okay, you yeah. find it? I can't find it, but it's like... Health in the navel, marrow in the bones, strength in the loins and in the sinews, power in the priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity for posterity for all lengths of time and throughout all eternity. Yeah, there's right? there's a couple more phrases. You have to repeat that back to him without knowing yeah, pre- previously. It's long. Yeah. You're supposed to memorize it essentially. Yeah, um, and there is somebody who helps you, like if you don't remember. If you don't remember, you have someone know. standing by you. Yeah. But, They're like, um, dude, but you shit, suck, shit, man. It's weird. like line of the line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sometimes they get frustrated. They oh, do. They'll crap. get annoyed with you, too, if you don't yeah, remember. Yeah, when I was doing it in, in uh, Spanish the first few times, I was like, dude, I do not speak this <laughs> language. Please be patient with me. I definitely um, accidentally sack him. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. My bad. Yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> so um, then they pull you through, right? Yeah, then he's like, that is correct. They tap on the, the pole three more times. Uh, oh, Adam wanting to go into heaven, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he takes you by the hand and pulls you through the veil. What? And you go into... Um, so you go into another... So you typically go into a the hallway. Celest- yeah. It takes you into another room called the Celestial the Room. The Celestial Room, which is like this immaculately appointed room. And I think we had you look it up another time. I'm looking it up again, though. Celestial yeah. Room, yeah. And they're all just like... They're phenomenal. Crazy, oh, yeah. super yeah. white, huge chandeliers. That's where you got married. Stuff. Do you get married there? Um. Nope. So these, we went to the ceiling go, room and then go there after. Yeah, sometimes the celestial room has a ceiling room like off to the side, so you can do this whole ceremony, and then after your two-hour thing, you can go and do extra time in this uh, ceiling room off to the side um, to like get married. Are there snacks? Um, sometimes they do that. No. There's no snacks There's no any time during this whole thing? Nope. F that. Why not? No snacks. Can you bring? No. Are people sneaking in snacks? This thing or what? Cooler. I've never seen anybody try to, but no. I would imagine it's happened before. What if you have low blood sugar? There's people who faint in the temple all the right? time. Right, because it's boring AF. That's why. Oh my god! Um, I went to this thing on Saturday. Um, there was a guy who was there, who um, he was the guy behind the veil asking you the questions. Mm-hmm. He was doing it for a a, a lady. In the middle of it, he was like, he just woke up and he's like, this shit is weird. And he walked off. He was the guy reading. <laughs> he was the guy on the other side of the. T- the, the Yeah. <gasps> he was asking the questions. And all of a sudden he was like, he was doing this lady. And he's like, this is weird. I'm out. And just, and just dips. dips. <laughs> I was like, More, this guy yeah. has the biggest balls yeah. I have ever heard of. And he's still like, alive. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he got out. of Oh, there my gosh. He was probably like, oh, my God. What's wrong? With, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, and, I would love to be like, there. How do you explain to him this shit is weird, That's and I'm wrong. not doing it anymore? See, and now this is this would. I know we're going a little long, but this is where it comes yeah, where people are like, right. "Look, we don't want you know this. It's not because it's sacred or secret. It's because it's weird. Yeah. That is the only yeah. reason they don't want to tell you about this shit. Because look yeah. at this. It's weird, and regular people, okay, don't like weird shit. Yeah, like I think no. of, as a pastor of a church of a non-denominational church, we draw people who are regular people, right? We we say mm-hmm. no perfect people allowed. We want bring everybody that's whatever, no matter your history or past, whatever. That's what evangelical church 
sort of gets right, right? They don't, Generally, you don't get into the inner circles unless you're like tithing and all that stuff. But generally, yeah. it's different, right? Where there's no, there's not really, even in a, a church, even singing together, my, some people might think that's a little bit weird, right? But not when yeah. I'm leading worship because it's like rock, it's awesome. But, um, but even to that degree, some people might think, ah, it's a little weird. But this is straight up crazy and that's why they don't want people to know about it they keep the secret mm -hmm. exactly. and they should just drop it because it means nothing it's not biblical yeah. at all well and and to them it means everything because you do these things in preparation for when you die so that you can get into the top and you're buried in this stuff too which just adds a special sure. little of yep. course all that are. whole get up you're buried in so that's fun <laughs> just adds a little special can, flair to can it mormons be cremated you um, can, but it's discouraged. It's discouraged, yeah. But can you be you, you you cremated in this When you though. get cremated, yep. They should cremate yeah, the shit. Um, I had a family member who, who passed away. They um, they had a lot of issues with their body, and they were like, I want to be cremated. And it was like a thing like among the family members. Even the ones who didn't attend church, they're like, you're not supposed to cremate. That's what he wanted. Just let Just him do light that. me on fire. It's my wishes, yeah. please. <laughs> right. All right. So... That so not only wearing these these under this like you're wearing these no you're saying wearing these plus a suit yeah plus this yeah most people won't have a jacket on but like but a white hot. shirt a white tie white thick pants like yeah. this shit is like a mechanic would wear thickness <laughs> but white um so but they keep it like extra cool they, let me tell you better. when I was in Tegucigalpa yeah. Oh, man, I looked forward to going to the temple because I had for sure air conditioning. air conditioning that was so cold that I would be ready, like, dying to get outside by the time I was ready okay. to leave. Like, that's how cold. Like, so. is there any old people in these things be like... Oh, oh always. Absolutely. I have... I swear, every Absolutely. time I went to every the time. temple, I had somebody fall asleep, like, on my shoulder while we're in there. It's yeah. the worst. Just wake up, just wake been, up to this. Yeah. Oh, they've hey. been doing it like yeah. a mil if you're an old mormon and you've done like you've they done encourage you to go at least once a month times. once yeah. a month um, to do this once a month mm -hmm. um if not more. if not more yeah so like if you're old and you've been going once a month for 40 years you can snooze and as soon as you need to wake up and put it on you know exactly where you're at like and they just cool with that you've you kind of earned it you kind of earned it yeah. at that point oh yeah you got everybody got to snooze sometimes if you're young and you need to as a missionary too um we would always fall asleep because i mean you're doing shit all day every day yep and then they put you in a dark air-conditioned room <laughs> what do you expect you're gonna man you're gonna doze off i'm surprised yeah, there's like not been more what... i'm honestly surprised with the emergence of small cameras and things that has been more people like new name noah doing exposés on this oh man i'm surprised they're hasn't been either. I yeah and to be fair he's got the biggest damn balls of anybody I've ever seen yeah. like he's got he's not honestly, scared he's just not if scared you watch all of his stuff yeah no he, oh he's God. not and he's even been like not for being in the temple he's been arrested for being on temple grounds because they he recognized got him rebaptized as a different person of someone of a different identity no he didn't get baptized <laughs> yes, he just he assumed their identity didn't yes, they? he did he stole he, I think they I were already in that then he assumed there because it was only 80 days. Oh, yeah, I, I want to, I got I got to interview this guy so badly. So badly. He's crazy. Good. He's crazy. I like him. Yeah. We love him. All right, so that okay, so that's I mean that's interesting in itself. So everybody who's wondering about these kind of stuff, it's because it's sacred because it's there are symbols. Not everybody knows that at all, okay? There mm -hmm. are little symbols attached to these and even in the not in the dick hole, but on the right you said the right leg on this one. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, right knee. Right it's knee. right on the seam. Almost, yeah. Oh, I see it. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see yeah, that. Yeah, just there a little line. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Yeah, it's hard to tell. And there, it's yeah. just like they kind of take a little bit of a fold in the, the fabric and then they stitch it. Not going to lie. These don't look half uncomfortable. Like, if they had a ball pocket like sax underwear, they'd be ni even nicer. Like, I feel like yeah. they're not terrible. I, I think mean, those are... The same, uh, no, those are the cotton poly ones. Those are the, like, one of the more popular. Welcome to the kinds. temple. Imagine the, yeah. imagine the veil is made of the, like, leftover underwear fabric. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, they, they spare no expense on those. Oh, I can oh, imagine. Like, absolutely an, an insane amount of money I can imagine. For some, like, elite well, and fabric. you can't just have any, but, like, any Tom, Dick, and Harry doing that kind of stuff. Yep. Like, it has to be somebody who's, who knows what's going on that way. It's not like, 
falling, you yeah. know, casting your pearls before swine. Yeah, exactly. Kind of idea. Equally yoked, so to speak. This thing is stupid. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, this totally has been amazing. Anybody has any questions? I think we should do a uh, next week. We could do a follow up. Why don't we do a um, one of my Saturday night like lives? Why don't you guys get on with me and we'll do a, uh, a Q and A. I'll oh, bust out the okay. guitar. Okay. We'll have some fun. We'll laugh, but we'll actually do a full on. Q and A, maybe even this no, Saturday. That sounds dope. Maybe even this Saturday, because we'll all it'll be like nine o'clock my time, which is like six your time. We're gonna sit down live Q and A fireside with Jordan and McKay. I'm gonna bust out the guitar. We're gonna bring them on. You guys, we'll have some chats. You guys can ask them all the questions you want. Mormons, bring your t bring your receipts and prove them bring wrong. Receipts. Prove them wrong. Look at this hat. What else? Can, what else do you have to say? Look at this hat. Okay, that's why nobody likes it. It stays on though. I mean, like it's. You could go to. Yeah, a, it's. You, it shockingly stays on. Like that's wow. And what's funny is you you usually you tie the tassel to the thing. So as your your robe falls off, it pulls your hat. It pulls off your hat down. Like, oh, oh, my earphone fell out. Jesus. This has been an amazing. Sucks. Like I know I know that this will piss a lot of people off, but at the same time, I actually appreciate. This helps me understand even more and. You guys might be surprised at this, but when it comes to the garments now, I have a better understanding of why. And I'm not even, I still think it's weird, yeah. but I actually understand as a it's religious. It's less weird when you understand yes, it, yeah. But so that's why I wish religious. that they would like be open about it because yeah. people would be less inclined to call them magic, magic underwear. Mormon underwear. Yeah. 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 Which they don't want people calling. But why don't they? Which I mean, why, essentially they are. Why don't they tell people about that? Because it would be revealing oh, the stuff from yeah, the temple comments. that you can't reveal. Yeah. But again, I I, I don't yeah. like religious. Uh, you go from Catholics to like uh, I don't know what Scientologists reveal. Like they're weird, but uh, people do a lot of religious things. Jews, uh, Muslims, they wear face coverings. Their modesty. Uh, everybody yeah, has something. Even in the non-denominational Christian church, that thing is likely. It could be worship music or like a culture of something, right? Culture of excellence. Every, it's all idolatry in the end. In the end, it's like a, it's, a, it's micro idolatry. It really is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Okay. So in the end, this stuff means nothing. If you are Mormon, okay, and you are into this and you think that you have, you might have questions about it. That's normal Crack because this is weird. Okay. It's weird. Yeah. And you should be able to have questions about it. The fact that you're not allowed yeah. to have questions about it is actually very telling. Yep. And a lot of it is is ripped off the Masons. So that yep. was the nail in the coffin. I was like, okay, if uh, revealing or showing this off is disrespectful to Anybody? the Mormons, yep. then yeah. Mormons doing it in the temple is disrespectful to the Masons. Yep. Yep. So, yep, yep. Can you guys, sorry. can I see your dog? Yeah, is he out there? Hold up. I can hear him. Sam's sleeping, but I, I'd show you. He's sleeping. Nice. So he's nice and cute. Oh, hey, buddy. This is Oakley. Oakley looks crazy. We love Oakley. He looks crazy. He is a miniature Australian shepherd. He just got groomed. He's also deaf. <laughs> and uh, the vet says obese, so we try our best. He doesn't look that But that's because right. his, uh, he's, he's definitely trimmed down a lot, but his leg <laughs> was... By the previous owner, his he got hit by a car. Oh. They, they just, never took him to the they vet. They never took him to the vet. So they just let him... Leg. Do me a favor, <laughs> okay? Down or some shit. As your channel grows and you just like... And it's going to grow and it's going to be awesome. Do me a favor, please. I know it's going to take some balls, but if you're ever going to move out of Utah, you're going to move anyway, right? Do True. it. Put a camera on all angles of your car. Drive around Utah. I swear <laughs> to God, go to the mall... <laughs> See what reactions you get. Why has nobody done this? I would do it. If we were in the car, I'd be okay with it. Would I get yeah, Would I get my ass kicked if I wore this to a Utah mall? Oh, they would probably. I, yeah. I don't know that you'd get your ass kicked, but they would. There would be some shame in. I would be worried. Good. I would be worried. So, like, would I get yeah. affronted well, by the men? The thing is, is like probably. I, yeah. Bring it. There's I can like fight them. I'll fight. I'll fight in these. I can fight. They have in this. guns, though. Oh, they have guns. Gun. Would yeah. I get There's a lot of gun toting? A lot of gun Would people. I get shot for wearing I these? I hope not. Because I'm thinking about. I when you know. come to Utah, <laughs> let's test I also it don't out. Want to find out. I'm not even yeah. kidding. You can be. I'm the thinking about. Like. I'm thinking about it just yeah. for. Maybe not. I don't get shot. I don't know. But uh, the car one, because you can drive away really fast. But like, if you if we were in Salt Lake, it might be more well received because there's a lot of ex Mormons uh, that Utah live in Salt Lake. Utah County would be a whole different. Utah County, they'd probably like don't burn us different. at the stake. So, okay, but. do me a favor. Get a ca couple cameras and just drive slowly somewhere where there's a lot of Mormons and just get the just zoom in on the reactions and don't ignore them. Just look straight. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So like honking. That would be so funny. <laughs> Okay. Maybe that'll be like that'll a be sub hilarious. goal when we reach a certain amount. Oh yeah. This is get us to five k and we'll do that. All right. No, I'd say let's do ten k and then Jordan and McKay are gonna 10K. go are gonna go do some craziness with their hats. Just that stats. Yes. So guys, oh, yeah. make sure you head over to subscribe to them. Uh, go on their TikTok. They're growing fast. I love it. They're doing some really cool stuff. They got some s fun things coming. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but they got some cool stuff coming up. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is a good message. I think in the end, what I really wanted to allude to was that. It's weird, but yes, we understand it a little bit more, but it's still weird. And Mormons out there who are watching this, and I know there are some, what do you like to say to them, guys? Because they're not going to listen to me. They might listen to you. I doubt it. No, they're not going to listen yeah. to us either, but... Yeah, tell us we're lying. I mean, we used to be in your shoes, so I'd, I'd understand the initial, yeah. like, ooh, this is really bad, because I used to think that too. So. Yeah, I was all in. A yeah. missionary in a different country. Yeah. Sweet. I learned how to speak Spanish. Been there, done do that. me say, so. do me do do yourself a favor. Free yourself from this hat, okay? Yeah. Just yes. it's not yeah. cool. Like it's just you live a lot better of a life when you're not living in fear that you will mess up your temple covenants, or so. you won't remember the handshakes to get into heaven. So. Yeah. Well, I know them now, so I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. You're welcome. We can look up a, a new name for you today too. Oh yeah, what's my name? Uh, Give me something good. If it's Josh, I'm be pissed. Imagine What's you walk in and your name is the name. If your name, if your given name is the name for the day, they give you Adam or Eve respectively. Oh, uh, well, I so want Adam. He's Adam, the best. Yeah. So let's see. Today. Oh, you got the badass one. Bring it. Your new name. Lazarus. Woo! Yeah. Raised from the dead. Lazarus. Lazarus. Uh -uh. Raised from the dead. I'm Lazarus. All right. This What's is, as always, it's been incredible. People think this is the, this is some people's favorite series. So let's not stop. But guys, make sure you are heading over to their channel. Watch their channel. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. Make sure you get over there. Start other accounts. Follow. Just saying. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. Incredible. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. You're the best. Bye. So, I mean, that was a great interview. Like, straight up, this stuff is it's nuts. Like, I did have a better understanding, though, of why. When it comes to the symbols, which I don't know why they tell, don't tell anybody about the symbols that are this thing, just tell people about the symbol, symbology. I mean, if you're wearing underwear to wear underwear, it doesn't make sense and people are going to be pissed, right? So, just tell people what's going on. And it's okay, Mormons, to ask questions. If, you're, if you have a religion or if you're part of a thing that is about God and Jesus, that is a hierarchy of religion, and you're not allowed to ask questions, do you think that's a little weird? You think it's weird you're not allowed to ask questions? Because why? Right? If you're part of something that is, if you're part of something that claims to be part of the kingdom of God, and that Jesus is a big important person in that thing, and that you're serving a God of, of infinite love and grace and understanding, but you're not allowed to ask any questions, that's a little weird. Here's the thing in the end. This stuff is weird because it's weird. It does not need to happen. Biblically, it makes no sense. The Book of Mormon, as we've gone through this whole series, what I've found is that it's completely devoid of anything that has to do with Christianity. And yet they call themselves Christian. So the Jesus that I follow is not the Jesus the Mormons follow. So it's not the case that they're just trying to trick people and it's okay. Which what I said at my first video, it is not okay. So this has been so eye-opening. Do not miss that live with Jordan McKay. It's going to be crazy. Bring all your receipts, bring your arguments, bring some joy. Let's have some fun and let's do it. Take a deep breath. Holy. You can see your nipples through the shirt. That's what I'm saying. There is a pee hole, so that's good. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for those who were kind of on the fence about this and who are still kind of on the fence about it and that's okay. Thanks for coming at me with like, if I'm saying something wrong, you know what? And, and respect for those who stand up for the Mormon religion. You know what? I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to say you're dumb. I'm going to say that you might be lost and indoctrinated, but at least you're standing on your values and your principles. And if it's something that you believe in the end, I mean, is it hurting anybody? No, not really. It's not. It, from a Christian perspective, I mean, it's, it, I, I, it's hard for me to square it. That's all I'm going to say. But in the end, if it makes you happy, if there's something that you want to live by, these principles and these, and these things, Cool. If you want to wear magic underwear, if you want to wear these because they are sacred to you, that's cool too. I did understand a little bit more, but at the same time, it's just you have to you have to understand why the rest of the world thinks it's weird. And the fact that you keep these things secret, sacred, is is also very telling. 
and what we were what we were privy to today was very 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 interesting so hope you guys have an incredible day you're beautiful amazing glorious may your temple garments be ever crisp and white